I've only attended one presentation on it, and I've never read about it. Um, but apparently, there is a significantly increased chance of having a male pregnancy after IVF, assuming you have a blastocyst transfer. Because apparently, and I don't know with, with this with any scientific evidence, back it up, but apparently, according to this presentation, because the male embryos start to expand a blastocyst that bit quicker, and that's what we look for when we're selecting the embryos, we're looking for expanded blastocysts, we're subconsciously um, selecting male embryos. And supposedly there was a significant, uh, significantly improved um, chance of having a male child after having a blastocyst transfer. But we're talking a very small percentage, but still considered a significant result. And up outside of that one study, I don't know of any others. In terms of the actual embryo, initial embryo development, the fertilization stage, the first cleavage, the day two and the day three cleavage, as far as I would be aware, there would be absolutely no difference. It's just once we get to the blastocyst, the male embryos may expand quicker.